హలో ఎవరి వన్ ఐఎమ్ బాలాజీ రావు వెల్కమ్ టు బిఆర్ మ్యాథ్స్ క్లాస్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫిఫ్త్ క్లాస్ ఇన్ లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ టిల్ నౌ వీ డన్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ బౌండెడ్ ఫిజిబుల్ రిజన్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ఫస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ వెన్ గివెన్ లీనియర్ ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ అన్బౌండెడ్ ఫిజిబుల్ రిజన్ దెన్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద ఎక్స్ట్రా స్టెప్స్ will do to maximize or minimize objective function as usual i explained step wise to solve this problem what are the steps to be taken to solve linear programming problem when feasible region is unbounded how patience watch this video till the end so that you will get all the information related to linear programming problems when feasible region is unbounded before going to start this video please drop a like for this video and share it with your friends let's begin the class while solving linear programming problem we will follow these steps especially when we identified feasible region is unbounded feasible region step 1 finding feasible region using constraints so they will give conditions na based on the conditions we will find the feasible region finding feasible region using constraints is the first step after identifying feasible region now you need to find corner points identifying corner points is step 2 after finding corner point substituting these corner points in the objective function substitute these corner points in the objective function that is step 3 what is step 3 substituting corner points in objective function step 4 we do this step 4 only when the feasible region is unbounded graph the inequality either z less than m or z greater than m here z means objective function less than m greater than m depends upon what they are asking in the question if they ask us minimize the objective function then we will graph z less than m if they ask maximize the objective function then we graph z is greater than m you please observe this question number 4 what they are asking minimize objective function 3x plus 4y whatever the linear function they given they are asking us to minimize this so this is the objective function such that these are the constraints they given right mainly two constraints are there here and two non-negative constraints are there okay so first what i'll do we graph this inequality to graph this inequality I need to find x plus, I need to draw the line x plus 3y equal to 3. To draw the line x plus 3y equal to 3, I need two points on the line. Okay. To find two points on the line, you write a table like this. You put y coordinate 0, x coordinate 0. You put y value 0 in this. Then what you will get? You will get x equal to 3. So, you got one point on this line that point is 3 comma 0 now you put x 0 in this equation then you will get 3y equal to 3 that is nothing but y equal to 1 so you got two points on this line 3 comma 0 0 comma 1 now you can draw this line before proceeding further i just want to draw this line also x plus y equal to 2 so to draw the line x plus y equal to 2 i need two points on this line so what i'll do i'll take a table like this i'll consider a table like this x y put y 0 and x 0 put y 0 in this equation then what you will get you will get x equal to 2 you put x 0 in this equation then you will get y equal to 2 so you got two points on this line one is 2 comma 0 another one is 0 comma 2 now to graph this inequalities take a graph sheet and draw these two lines you mark the points 3 comma 0 0 comma 1 on the graph sheet 3 comma 0 is there here and 0 comma 1 is there here 
you draw a line passing through these two points. As the given inequality contains greater than or equal to, we will draw normal line instead of dotted line. So you join these two points. You observe I have drawn a line x plus 3y equal to 3. If you observe this line, for this line, this side is origin side because origin is present here. This side is origin side and this side is non-origin side. As origin side, non-origin side are present in this, to graph this inequality, I will put 0, 0 in this inequality. You write that, put 0, 0 in this inequality. When you put 0, 0 in this, 0 plus 3 into 0 is greater than or equal to 3. So what you will get, you will get that 0 is greater than or equal to 3. Is 0 is greater than 3? 0 is clearly less than 3. 0 is not greater than 3. So what you got? You got false here. When you got false, which side you need to shade? You need to shade non-origin side. If it is true, we'll shade origin side. Now which side we need to shade? We need to shade non-origin side. So I'll shade non-origin side of this line. You can observe here, whatever yellow color shaded part is there, that is solution of this inequality. That means if you take any point in the shaded region, suppose if I take a point here, this point is in the shaded region. When I substitute this point in this inequality, it satisfies. So whatever the points if are present in the shaded region, all these points satisfies this inequality. So this shaded region is the solution of this inequality. Now we will graph the second inequality. What is that x plus y greater than or equal to 2? As we know two points on this line x plus y equal to 2, you mark 2 comma 0, 0 comma 2 and draw a line. See this is the point 2 comma 0 and this is the point 0 comma 2. As they given here greater than or equal to, we draw a normal line passing through these two points. This blue color one is x plus y equal to 2. If you observe this blue color line for this, this side is origin side of the line and this side is non-origin side of the line. As origin side, non-origin side present for this line, I will put 0 comma 0 in this inequality. You put 0 comma 0 in this inequality. In place of x, you write 0. In place of y, you write 0. Then what you will get? 0 is greater than or equal to 2. Is 0 is greater than 2? No. Clearly, 0 is less than 2. So what you got here? It is false. As you got false here, we will shade non-origin side of this line. See, for this line, this is the non-origin side, right? I will shade non-origin side of this line. You please observe, I am shading non-origin side of this line. You try to understand the common region for both the inequalities. You observe what is the common region for this inequality as well as this inequality. So first you observe what is the uh, solution of this inequality. You see here, th this part is there. Na? Here I am marking you, please observe. Non-origin side of this blue color line. Whatever this part is there, what is this? This is solution of this inequality. If we take any point in this solution, it satisfies this inequality. Now, what is the feasible region? What is the feasible region? Feasible region, you please observe. Feasible region means the common region satisfying both the inequalities. You can observe, you can observe here, please, feasible region. Feasible region. This is the feasible region. See, this is the feasible region. If I consider these two constraints, okay. And actually, in the question, another two constraints are also there. What are those non-negative constraints? You observe here, they given non-negative constraints. That means our solution will be in first quadrant only. So, where is the feasible region? You please observe, our answer is in first quadrant only. Please observe, our answer is in first quadrant only. You see, this is the feasible region. So, you just highlight the feasible region. You please observe, this red color part is there, na? that is the feasible region. If we take any point in this feasible region, it satisfies these inequalities. So uh, this is the solution of given constraints. 
this is the feasible region if you observe this feasible region this is unbounded feasible region i hope you are understanding without any confusion this is unbounded feasible region what is step one in solving this linear programming problem step one is finding the feasible region using constraints so we identified feasible region this feasible region is unbounded feasible region keep it in your mind after finding feasible region what is step two step two is identifying corner points you observe the corner points of this see this is one point this point is 0 comma 2 this is another point we don't know this point we need to calculate this this point is 3 comma 0 so first what i'll do i'll find this point what is this point this point is point of intersection of these two lines right so you solve these two lines you solve these two lines while solving i'll subtract you can see plus x minus x will get cancelled y minus 3y is minus 2y equal to 2 minus 3 is minus 1 okay from this what is y y equal to 1 by 2 now i put y value in this x plus y equal to 2 in place of y you write 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 2 equal to 2 what is x x is 2 minus 1 by 2 so x equal to 4 minus 1 that is 3 by 2 so x equal so you got x equal to 3 by 2 y equal to 1 by 2 so i got the corner point 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 so finally what are the corner points i'll write corner points are what one corner point is 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 another corner point you observe this corner point is 3 comma 0 this corner point is 0 comma 2 3 comma 0 0 comma 2 step 2 is also over we identified corner points what is step 3 substitute these corner points in the objective function see these are the corner points now i'll substitute these corner points in the objective function for suppose 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 you substitute 3 into 3 by 2 plus 5 into 1 by 2 this is 9 by 2 plus 5 by 2 that is nothing but 9 plus 5 is 14 14 by 2 is 7 okay so when i substitute this point in objective function i got 7 similarly you substitute 3 comma 0 in this objective function then what you will get you will get 9 plus 0 that is nothing but 9 you put 0 comma 2 in this objective function then you will get 10 in the question what they are asking what they are asking in the question they are asking minimize the objective function please observe the question what they are asking minimize the objective function so in this what is the minimum value you can observe here 7 is the minimum value 7 is minimum value if the feasible region is bounded we can conclude here what we can conclude the objective function is minimum at this point and minimum value is 7 as feasible region is unbounded we have a procedure we cannot declare here the this is the minimum value you please observe as the feasible region is unbounded feasible region we cannot declare here 7 is the minimum value as the feasible region is unbounded 7 may or may not be the minimum value you listen carefully as feasible region is unbounded 7 is may or may not be the minimum value so to conclude this what i'll do step 4 what is step 4 you see we graph z less than m or z greater than m as they are asking minimize minimize so we'll draw the graph z less than m now we draw the graph z less than m here z means objective function m means minimum value that what we got in corner point table now you observe we graph objective function 3x plus 5y minimize they are asking 3x plus 5y is less than 7 so now i'll graph this inequality to graph this inequality i need the line 3x plus 5y equal to 7 to draw this line i just need two points on this line so i'll put y coordinate 0 x coordinate 0 you put y value 0 in this 
what you will get you will get 3x equal to 7 x equal to 7 by 3 so we got one point on this that is 7 by 3 comma 0 you put x 0 in this then what you will get you will get y equal to 7 by 5 now you write this you mark 7 by 3 comma 0 0 comma 7 by 5 on the graph sheet 7 by 3 means what you will get 2 point something right so 7 by 3 comma 0 is an x axis please observe here here you will get somewhere here this is a uh, what point it is it is a uh, 7 by 3 comma 0 similarly second point is 0 comma 7 by 5 7 by 5 is 1 point something you will get somewhere here right just draw a line passing through these two points and you can observe here this is z less than m we are graphing this inequality here strictly less than 7 is there so we will draw a dotted line okay please observe here this is the dotted line this is z less than m you please observe this is z less than m for this line origin side non origin side is present you put 0 comma 0 in this you put 0 comma 0 in 3x plus 5y less than 7 so when we put 0 comma 0 in this 0 plus 0 is less than 7 that is nothing but 0 less than 7 0 is less than 7 yes it is true when it is true which side we need to shade we need to shade origin side please observe here for this for this dotted line you just observe you just observe this is the solution for z less than m now important thing is you observe that this region and feasible region is having no point in common the solution of z less than m and feasible region is having no point in common see this is feasible region this is the solution of z less than m so there is no point in common with z less than m and feasible region i'll write that step there is no point in common with solution of 3x plus 5y less than 7 and feasible region as there is no point in common with uh, z less than m and feasible region we say that as there is no point in common we say that 7 is the minimum value if if there exists some points common with feasible region we say that there is no minimum value for given linear programming problem about given constraints as there is no point in common with the feasible region we say that as we got 7 is minimum here 7 is the minimum value therefore z equal to 3x plus 5y is minimum is minimum at what point you observe the corner point table is minimum at 3 by 2 comma 1 by 2 and minimum value and the minimum value is 7 i hope you understand solution of this problem when the feasible region is unbounded then you need to do it little carefully that is also easy once you are once you understand the things clearly when the given feasible region is unbounded feasible region then we will follow these four steps to complete the problem i hope you understand this solution if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye